What's going on guys? Welcome to your 43rd tutorial in the UDK and in this tutorial we're going to be finally jumping into Kismet and piecing all these pieces together. Or should I have said putting all these pieces together? Well either way that's what we're going to be doing. So actually I'm done with the side view, front view, and top view so let's go ahead and expand the perspective view since that's the only one I really care about right now. So now what I did in between this tutorial and the last tutorial is rebuild my lighting. So let me go ahead and demo this level by hitting play from here. And I'll show you guys what effect we're going to go for. So basically we have this trigger in the middle of our map. And whenever we bump into it, we want this light to flicker on and off. But check it out, I'm bumping into it right now. And this light isn't turning on and off. And that's because we didn't set this up in Kismet yet. So let's go ahead and hit escape and do that right now. So again... How you get to Kismet is you go ahead and click this open Unreal Kismet button right here. And now this is Kismet right here. But what I want to do is throw this on the right hand side of my screen and throw my perspective view on the left hand side of my screen. And I think that's going to be really easy to work with. So I guess what I can do is I can build this quick example and teach you guys, or excuse me, talk you guys through what I'm doing. However, it might be easier if you just kind of watch me do it and then when everything's put together at the end you're going to be able to see the whole picture and probably give you a better idea of what's going on so if you guys don't exactly understand what I'm talking about as I'm putting these pieces together don't worry by the end of this video you'll be a pro or I won't say a pro kismet but you'll be hmm, not a pro but you'll be a novice at kismet I, <laughs> a guaranteed novice so the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and in your perspective view select this trigger now when you have the trigger selected in Kismet go ahead and right click and hit new event using trigger and we want to select touch now let me go ahead and explain to you guys what an event is actually let me go ahead and explain this how Kismet works is this you add a bunch of these things in this case we added an event and these things are just called objects so the three main things that we're going to be adding in this tutorial is the event an action and a variable an event is something that your user or your player can do it's something that happens in your game in this case it's going to be the user touching a trigger so everything starts with an event in real life maybe event would be jumping off a building and then the result of that is called an action so an action is basically a result of an event so in the UDK the event is going to be touching this trigger and the action is going to be turning the light on and off in real life an event would be jumping off a building and the action would be breaking your neck so basically you need to start everything with an event and then that causes an action to happen so let's go ahead and now that we have our event set up again basically this is our event right here and this is the trigger that we can flip on and off let's go ahead and create an action so in order to create an action go ahead and right click in kismet hit new action and then we're going to want to go ahead and toggle a light on and off as the result of this event so go ahead and hit toggle and toggle so check it out check out what's going on right now we want to connect this touch event to a turn on toggle so basically whenever our trigger is touched which is this light switch right here we're gonna wanna toggle something on and off but it just doesn't know that we wanna toggle this light on and off because check this out if we made a huge level and we had like a thousand lights how would it know what light we wanted to toggle on and off well in order to associate this toggle action with light it needs an additional piece of information and that information is the fact that we're going to be working with this light right here so in order to tell the UDK in Kismet that the light that we want to toggle is this light go ahead and select that light and now go ahead and back in Kismet right click somewhere in and now with once you right click go ahead and select new object variable point light toggle again if you don't see that as an option make sure you have the light selected in your perspective view and by the way before I forget to mention this moving around all these objects is the exact same as in the material editor again if you select it and hold control you can move it around 
if you want to delete one of these arrows just go ahead and hold alt and click on it and uh, if you want to select multiple things just hold go ahead and hold control and alt and then you can select multiple things and move them around so again exact same as working in the material editor so now what I want to do is for the event I want to say alright whenever you touch the trigger then toggle something on and so this is the event right here and this is the result aka the action and now it says alright I'm gonna to toggle something on but what the heck am I supposed to toggle on if you have like 50 different lights or laser beams or you know guns that you want to toggle on whatever the heck that means what am I supposed to toggle on so the target is basically where we tell it what to toggle on and in that case that's this variable the light switch right there so again let me go ahead and demo this first of all so I can prove to you guys that this is indeed working and I'm not just uh, you know talking crap here so I'm gonna hit play from here and keep your eyes on the static mesh right here see it's dim right now keep looking at it keep looking at it whenever I bump into this trigger now it now switches on so again if I go up to kismet right here this is the event that happens the initial event is something that our user can do in this case the user can touch a light switch or a trigger as it's technically called now the action is a result of what happens whenever that event occurs now in this case the action is something's getting toggled on and off and the target is basically what target do you want to toggle on and off and in that case we just use that toggle light so hopefully you guys understand the basics of kismet again I just want to get a couple uh, you know definitions out of the way a couple terminology and show you guys the basic interface but trust me we are nowhere near covering what everything we need to cover in a uh, kismet for example check it out whenever we hit play from here whoa hello let me go ahead and hit play from here and check it out this light switch turns on but step away from it and it stays on so how the heck are we supposed to turn that off well that's one example of what we can cover in the upcoming tutorials so for now that's all you guys get hopefully you got a little better feeling hopefully you guys are a little more comfortable with kismet but in the upcoming tutorials i'm going to show you guys some awesome sequences some awesome things you can do with kismet to make your game a whole lot more fun and interactive so thank you guys for watching this tutorial thank you guys for subscribing and supporting my channel and uh, if you have any questions check out the new boston.com forum i'll answer them for you then so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video